Watch and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to discuss um, the movie me and my sister always watch at Christmas, and that is Hackers. This is from 1995, starring Johnny Lee Miller and a pre-gross Angelina Jolie before she started to leech off Brad Pitt for a, in some vain attempt to raise her status in Hollywood that completely fucking failed because since the breakup with him, I think she's only made those that wish me dead or want me dead about the firefighter that was awful and that Eternals bullshit. But anyways, I don't like her. I've never liked her. And in this movie, Angelina Jolie looks like a fucking Vulcan female, okay? I've never really been into Star Trek, but she looks like a fucking Vulcan, okay? So what this tells the story of is uh, a kid by the name of Zero Cool who, when he's eight, he crashes like 1,500 systems in a day and he's sort of like the ultimate computer hacker. And that, of course, he grows up, sorry, he grows up to be played by Johnny Lee Miller who decides instead of using Zero Cool, once his... I think it's his 18th birthday or something, he's allowed to touch computers again. And this is it, him and his mom have uh, relocated to New York and he decides to call himself Crash Override. And he starts hacking like TV stations to pick the show that he wants to watch, which I believe was an episode of The Outer Limits, which preempts this incredibly racist show about, uh, what, what was it called? America First or some shit? I can't remember what the show that he preempts with the episode of uh, The Outer Limits, but I just find it hard to believe that any major network anywhere would air a show like this because the guy's discussing how like black people are genetically inferior and blah, blah, blah. And then it, Johnny Lee Miller's like, yak, yak, yak. And then he like, and it changes. But then, of course, fucking acid burn. Some hacker, some guy named Acid Burn breaks in. They do this sort of battling back and forth thing with the video cassettes and uh, to the prodigies, voodoo people. I love that song. And that song is used a couple times really effectively throughout the course of this movie. It's a little silly, I guess, to have, you know, the battling video cassettes because it's not exactly how hacking works. But nonetheless, it's entertaining. This, you really have to let go. If you know anything about computers, you've got to let it all go. This is more of a cyberpunk film. Um, that's why the big supercomputer is referred to as a Gibson. Everybody wants to hack a Gibson. And that's a nod to William Gibson. So, the guy who is uh, the author of Neuromancer and Iduru, uh, Mona Lisa Overdrive. It's funny too, because out of the Neuromancer trilogy, the first one I read was Mona Lisa Overdrive. I didn't know that it was part of a trilogy. But anyways, that's why they call it Gibson, because he coined the term cyberspace, and William Gibson is an incredibly important figure in the world of cyberpunk literature. Check out Neuromancer and Mona Lisa Overdrive. I never read the third part of the trilogy. I'm not really into the cyberpunk thing, but I do think it's cool. And Billy Idol's attempt at it was horrendous. That's like one of the worst records you'll ever hear. You should check it out. What the fuck was that? I just saw a shadow on the mailboxes. No, I'm alone here. I'm good. Anyways, yeah, so he finds out that Acid Burn is actually a chick and it's Angelina Jolie and there's all this sort of sexual tension between the two of them. And they decide to go head to head to fuck with Richard Gill, who is hacker enemy number one. He works for the Secret Service and he has taken down hackers as much as he can because they're like the biggest threat to the infrastructure of the blah, 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 blah. So they decide to make his life a living hell. And throughout the process of that, of course, they fall in love with, it, with Lynn, they fall in love with each other, naturally. And uh, this also stars Matthew Lillard, who at this point, his career was like fucking red hot. He's serial killer. You got Lord Nikon. You got, like I said, Crash Override. You got Acid Burn. And this movie's a lot of fun but it just doesn't make sense at time. Like the plague, Eugene, the secret service wouldn't just let this guy that works for some oil company, he's like the cybersecurity specialist for Ellings, Ellison, Ellison Oil, I believe. Um, they wouldn't let him walk around the secret services offices going through their files and shit. But that's exactly what he gets to do. So you've got to overlook a lot of the technical problems with this movie. It's like I said, if you're into computers, even remotely, this movie, this movie's a train wreck, but that's not really what this is about. This movie is about like 
the love of cyberpunk and the work of William Gibson. And it's showcasing a bunch of hot young actors who would, you know, it would be just that. I mean, Angelina Jolie and Johnny Lee Miller, and especially Matthew Lillard, they were kind of everywhere at this point. Johnny Lee Miller was, of course, fucking sick boy from fucking train spotting. Angelina Jolie, of course, she had already made Gia at this point, and she was about to keep going up, especially when she would attach herself to Brad Pitt. And Matthew Lillard, it feels like at that point, he was like everywhere. Like from Scooby-Doo to 13 Ghosts and a bunch of other movies I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, so it's a really cool movie, but it's really dumb. And I also like the Penn Jillette's in it. He's playing one of like the tech guys who works for Ellison. And uh, Lorraine Bracco is in this as well. Of course, Dr. Melfi from The Sopranos. She has a supporting role and she is excellent in this. And I would like to point out that the, the actual factual part of this that I remember was the four most used password were, and this was true, it was God, sex, love, and secret, if memory serves. And that was true, because I remember brute force hacking uh, fastporn.com's website back in the 90s when I was in high school. And a lot of the times, the password would be secret, or secret one, or God, or God one, or God two, or love, or sex, one, two, three, whatever and I used to hand them out to people at school the next day. Now keep in mind, I am in no way like really good at this hacking thing. I used the term brute force because it was true. I just sat on my computer and just kept punching in passwords and usernames. And at this point, around 1996, 1997, there was no uh, minimum characters needed. Your, your password, I mean, your username would be your first name, so it'd be Jim, and then your password would be sex. And that would be legit. Because I remember fastporn.com was the only place to really get porn at that point. And I remember handing them out at school and everybody thought it was super cool for that. And yeah, now things are a lot more complicated. But that was true. Those four passwords that they talk about in the movie, they were really used at that point. Because like I said, there was no minimum character needed. You could have a two letter password, a fucking 20 letter password. It didn't matter. I know it seems crazy in 2023, but I can swear, I can attest to the fact that that's the way it was. So, yeah, this movie is fun, but it's dumb. It's perfect, but it's flawed. And the performances are fantastic. Like I said, Matthew Lillard and Johnny Lee Miller and Angelina Jolie and everybody, they do a really good job dealing with some sort of more goofy subject matter. And they pull it off. And I really wanted to dress like Johnny Lee Miller back in high school, so I did my best to kind of do like the cyberpunk bondage pants thing he does when he hands the disc off to Eugene, who's on a fucking skateboard on the side of a limousine, like... Oh, God. This movie's rough in a lot of ways. But anyways, look, I'm gonna go. So thank you so much for hanging out with me while I discuss the 1995 film Hackers. Like always, if you like this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody, but most importantly, please don't forget that the world is a better place because you are in it. I'm gonna go. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.